Hey everybody, Austin here again, uh, continuing my uh, Quake Let's Play series for the PC, and uh, this is actually going to be the final episode. Uh, we've actually cleared all four episodes, as you guys can see. Um, the reason I split this off into a fifth episode is that, uh, for one, I wanted to show you guys some extra stuff afterwards, um, which would have extended my episode four playthrough to probably over an hour and a half long, which is probably just too long. Um, and, uh, yeah, I figured, uh, we could do the final level on the, on this final episode, and then afterwards, once we're done, um, I'll pop on some god mode, give myself some infinite ammo, and I want to show you some really cool tricks you can do in Quake, and show you how neat it was playing Quake back in the day, um, <clears throat> just for fun. Um, there's so many different things you could do with this game back in the day. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and just continue on and play the final stage. Uh, so the final stage is basically sort of like a, not really a boss rush, it's an enemy rush in that you've got a lot of shamblers and vores to deal with uh, in close quarters combat. Uh, you pick up the lightning bolt um, right in the very beginning and you got a couple of fish to deal with, nothing crazy here. And there's going to be a scrag up here. And then once we go through this teleporter, uh, it's basically going to take us to the last stretch in the game. And you're going to want to pick up all the ammo you can, as well as the guns, because you're going to need them. And, um... Here is Shub Niggereth. This is the, uh... The final boss, technically. But it's not really much of a boss, it just kind of like sits there. And, uh, so the goal is to telefrag Shub Niggerath. And, um... I'll show you exactly what I mean by that, uh, once we take out all the enemies and get to the end. So, I'm kind of taking this part slow because, uh, there's a lot of enemies, I just want to conserve my good ammo, like, uh, the nails and so forth. For after this initial run of enemies. Another Shambler appeared behind that one. You know what I noticed is that uh, I don't think Shamblers fight each other. But Shamblers will fight uh, other enemies. Because that one Shambler was zapping the other one. You could hear the other Shambler getting hit. Um, but he never turned around and like started, you know... Um, attacking him, which was interesting. I think there was a similar rule in place in Doom, like... Whoa, there's another one. I don't think, uh, Barons of Hell fought each other in Doom. But they would fight, like, smaller enemies, and smaller enemies would fight them. Um... So on this level, it's okay to just pick enemies off from a distance. If you've got your aim, uh, you can go ahead and just use it. Like, it looks like that Shambler is just stuck over there, so it's like... Why not just take him out from a distance? Okay, so one little thing about this level is that um, there's this spike that pops out right here. So you want to make sure you jump over this section when you go through that. Otherwise, you might get hit by it. There's going to be also some typical nails coming out of the walls, which is very common in Quake. This happens many times throughout the course of the game. And I guess that's it. That was not as many enemies as I remembered. Uh, remember, we were playing this on Nightmare Mode. Alright, so what we want to do is... First, I'm going to go ahead and save it. The reason is I'm, I just want to show you this secret down here. There is a secret you can get. It's got quad damage. Although, how you're supposed to get that quad damage is, uh, is a little funky. Uh, with all those enemies there. But it is here. 
So this spiky, floaty spiky thing that's going throughout the level, what you have to do is wait for it to go inside the boss and then go through this teleporter and you'll cause a telefrag to occur. And that's it. And a vor appeared out of nowhere for some odd reason. <laughs> So congratulations and well done. You have beaten the hideous Shub Niggerath and her hundreds of ugly, <laughs> her ugly changelings and monsters. You have proven that your skill and cunning are greater than all powers than all the powers of Quake. You are the master now. Id Software salutes you. Um, yeah. So that's it. Um, that is Quake. We have officially finished the game. And um, there's really nothing else after that. There aren't any like end credits or anything like that. Quake just has one of the most abrupt uh, and uh, one of the most abrupt endings of all time uh, in first person shooter history. All right, so now that we've done that, we've pretty much completed our playthrough. What I'm gonna do is um, mess around with some things. So I wanted to show you guys, uh, you know, I wanted to show you some stuff throughout the course of my playthrough, but I was like, you know, that's just going to slow things down way too much. And I did experiment a little bit, but one of the fun things about Quake is uh, is just messing around in the game. Like, the engine is just really, really great. So we're going to start a brand new game again. Uh, so there we go. God mode, if you type God in the console, you actually get God mode. So now we're invincible. If I wanted to, I could literally just fall into lava. And we're not going to die now. Uh, unfortunately, there's no way for me to get out of said lava. Uh, so what I'm going to do is do Impulse 9, uh, which gives us all weapons and ammo. And then I might be able to actually rocket jump my way out of this. Yeah, I should be able to. Okay, that's probably really annoying to look at, so we'll go ahead and stop that. So let's, uh... So just like, uh, you know, like a DOS prompt, uh, it actually recognizes your previous commands. So if you wanted to, you can just tap up to scroll through your command list if you want to, um, if you want to do that. Uh, so yeah, there's a, you know, there's a bunch of things I want to show you guys in this game. Um, just from like a fun perspective, like, you know, Quake just has so much stuff you can do. It's got all these like little ridges throughout the play field you can try to like get yourself into. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna sit up here and just look around. Admire the scenery. Uh, so yeah, the rocket jump you guys saw me do a couple times throughout the playthrough, but it's, it wasn't something that I did too frequently because, you know, without god mode you, you would take damage and so you would only use it at very specific situations. Um, but when we were when we would play multiplayer in this game back in the day, we would just screw around and try to kind of like troll pe troll each other. Like one thing we would do is uh, like this was actually a multiplayer level back in the day. You could play the Slipgate, and it was actually a really fun multiplayer map. Sometimes what I would do is I would just rocket jump up here like this and just camp at people coming through that teleporter like that. Uh, there's other places you can get up to, for instance, your uh, slip gates here, or your entrances to your episodes. You can get on top of almost every single one. So we're on top of this one. Let's see what we can do on episode two. There's some things you can get on top of here. You could just... Actually, this would have been really good to sit on top of back in the day. I never, I never actually sat up here on one of these. But that's an option. Uh, yep, yeah, you should be able to get up here. Oh, no, looks like it's kind of, kind of blocked. Oh, I see what's going on here. There's not much room because you've got these, uh, overhead bars. Alright, so let's go back. Let's rocket jump our way through. Oops. So you can also use rocket jumping to just boost yourself far really quickly. Uh, yeah, actually, I don't remember getting up here on this one back in the day. Yeah, there's not much room there, but, uh, there was kind of one thing we used to do. We used to actually get up top on these little bars up here. And, uh, let's see if I can do that. Uh, how am I going to do that? Uh, do, do, 
do, do, do. And it has to be these ones down here because these are too high up. You can see where your rocket's actually exploding. That's pretty much the ceiling. But you can get up here. There's enough room to get up there, so... Alright, it seems to be a little tricky. Uh, you could also walk on these. We used to just sort of like camp as people like run by. Um, episode 4, there's not really much to do in here as far as like camping or rocket jumping to, to funny places. As you can see, there's not really enough room to get up there, but... You know, there was just a lot of fun stuff you could do in this game. Again, as I explained throughout the course of this playthrough, you know, any little ridge like this you can get on top of and just sit on. Um, but one of the things I really wanted to show you guys was uh, grenade plus rocket jumping. So if I switch to the, the, uh, the, the grenade, grenade launcher, and then switch to the rocket launcher, you can actually get a super high rocket jump. And uh, one thing we used to do is actually get up top here. And I might have to do it on top of the staircase. Nope, I got it. <laughs> so you can actually see off, you can see how like they they do the, uh, the sky texture. Um, which is pretty funny. And then uh, what we would do is we would, we would sit up here back in the day in multiplayer. And then... People would start typing out of nowhere because they wouldn't find us. They'd be like, where the hell are you? Did you guys quit? Did you leave? And they, they'll hit like the tab key to go to, go to their scores or whatever. And be like, nope, they're, they're still here. And we just start peek our heads up top over here. <laughs> or just start shooting at people. Yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff you can do in this game. Um... I'm trying to think, was there anything else on uh, some of the other episodes that we used to do for fun? So, like, let's let's go into an episode just for shits and grins. Okay, so I need to do... Oops. God mode again. And we're going to go ahead and do Impulse 9 just to get all our stuff back. And it's actually kind of fun playing Quake on... Um, Uh, with like God mode and like infinite ammo uh, because it allows you to go through like the early levels uh, with uh, allows you to go through the early levels with rocket launchers and so forth which definitely uh, gives the game a different dynamic normally I don't play with cheats or anything like that but um, sometimes it is fun to you know go through a game again with uh, you know, unlimited ammo and or weapons that you normally wouldn't have. And it doesn't look like it actually put it on Nightmare. It's, uh... Unfortunately, it doesn't tell me what difficulty I have it on. So you could actually jump up here if you want to, which isn't really necessary. Can I get up top there? I don't... Yeah, I should be able to. Let's test that theory. This is probably nauseating for you guys watching. <laughs> I gotta get my timing better with that grenade jump. Let's see. Something like that. All right. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> and there's another one up here you can jump on top of. All right, so what I'm going to do is actually... Um, You can actually change your maps in this game. So what I'm going to do is go to map DM6. Uh, this is uh, Deathmatch 6. 
which is it's the sixth uh, deathmatch map. And uh, this was one of my favorite maps uh, for multiplayer in Quake. And I think it was a lot of people's favorite level. It's just a really balanced uh, map for multiplayer. Um, so basically, all the hallways in this level connect to the center. And it's not a big map at all. It's, it was a great map for 1v1. This little cubby here will, will take you behind. Um, but uh, because back in the day, like you wouldn't always find uh, an active match. Sometimes you would just like run around the level and practice. Like I, I learned that I could use the little uh, hill jump technique to jump up here. Otherwise, if you run straight up, it doesn't really work. Notice how I'm trying to jump. Looks like I can make it, but I can't. But if you do the run jump technique, you can actually get up here. Um, that was a spawn spot up there. And so this teleporter uh, takes you back to this main room. And this main teleporter takes you to where I just was. Just like that. Um, and as far as like rocket jumping to like funny places, like you could get up here. Some people used to get up top here. <laughs> of course, the real dicks would just sit behind the teleporter and, you know, shoot their rockets through that. Uh, you could, of course, not really necessary, but sit on top of the actual teleporter. Or rocket jump up. I used to just, yep, get up top like this just for fun. Uh, that's another spawn spot right there. Um... This is where your rocket launcher would spawn. Since we're not in a multiplayer match, it's not going to spawn. It's The game's acting like it is a normal single-player level. Um, you can also uh, actually get up there. Which is something I used to do back in the day. I wouldn't really do this in a serious match, but if I was just like goofing off, having fun, which happened eh, occasionally. Or if like we were doing like a warm-up round, you know, because in a lot of like one versus one situations or tournament matches you would just you know have infinite guns and ammo and health and you would just warm up you know run around get used to the lag and so forth so I would just like jump up here and just like sit here uh, there's also oh uh, yeah it's not gonna work because I'm in I think I think it was the kill command was it kill um, yeah, I think it might have been the kill command. Um, if you're in a multiplayer match, if you if you got killed or killed yourself uh, or suicided, uh, your dead body would remain there, and um, you would just like respawn somewhere else on the map. But since it thinks it's in a single player mode or single player match, actually, you know what? We might. So these are the different uh, deathmatch arenas. So it said player suicides. Yep, there's my dead body. <laughs> Alright, so check this out. Awesome, I can demonstrate it then. So what we would do, we would just we would seriously goof around sometimes. And just use like the kill command. Uh, so check this out. If I, I think if I do it like right here, just on the edge, and if I go back to that spot, yep, <laughs> there's my dead body hanging up in the air, <laughs> and I don't know if it's gonna, if it's gonna have all my bodies. If I use that command, but we used to do this and just use the kill command over and over. And we would just like align a bunch of bodies like hanging off the edges. Just <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Um, we used to like <laughs> get a bunch of people together and like like rocket jump onto each other to make it look like we was like a, a quake guy totem. Uh, let's see. Where's my rocket launcher? Here it is. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> uh, this brings back memories, man. I gotta get a screenshot of that. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna keep, but... But yeah, there was a whole bunch of, like, really fun stuff you could do in this game. Um, Quake was just a super fun game back in the day. And it was, like, little... I, I, I guess you could probably call this a glitch. Like, it's if you tried doing this now, it probably... In, like, a modern FPS, it probably doesn't work. And I know after a certain amount of, of, of it, like, the bodies start to disappear. But it looks like we've got four. Um... <clears throat> I would do this in an actual multiplayer match. Like, like there's one level. Uh, let's see. Um, place with two deaths. The abandoned base. I think it's the abandoned base. Yeah, it's this level. So I would use like the kill command like right here. And then people would just like run in and be like, what the hell? And they'd start shooting like the dead body that's like floating in the air. And uh... <laughs> oh man, this brings back good memories. I used to play this, uh, this all the time, man, back in the day. Ugh. Jeez, what's sad is I think I had these maps memorized better than I had, like, my local streets memorized. Um, there's gonna be some health over here, just like so. Uh, these were really well-balanced, like, deathmatch maps, too. You know, aside from power-ups like invincibility. But fortunately, the invincibility power-ups wouldn't appear uh, as frequently as they do in um, some other FPSs. But almost everything, like, linked you to somewhere else. Um, in little areas like this, back in the day, we would use, like, rocket jump tricks. Either to, to get up top, like this, or just to get across. Of course, I just picked up quad damage. Uh, just really great level design, and it was a, a ton of fun back in the day. So I believe there's some armor up here. Yeah. And the theoretically, I guess you could probably get up top here. I don't know if there's enough room, but... Uh, but yeah, that's... Uh, I think that pretty much wraps it up. There's a bunch of other little things I could, I could probably show you guys, but... Um, um, that is part of the fun of the original Quake, to be honest with you, is uh, just kind of messing around with this stuff, doing kind of goofy things, just, you know, having fun with the engine, basically. Um, I don't know if people really do that too much anymore in first-person shooters, just, like, have fun goofing around in the engine. I know, obviously, it was done in, like, Halo. I mean, that's really how, like, <laughs> Red versus Blue became a thing. People were just screwing around in the engine, and, um... But yeah, there's a whole lot of fun stuff, goofy stuff you can just do in Quake. And, um... Uh, it just gives the game a lot of longevity, just, you know, being able to do a whole lot of things that the developers probably didn't actually intend you to be able to do. Um, but the Quake's engine just gives you the power to do that, which I think is really neat. Um, it looks like I should be able to, like, yep, I can get up top here, I didn't even know that. So I saw that little ridge, I was like, you know, I could probably get on top of that. And I did. Um, but also, if you kind of play this game with uh, some cheats and stuff like that, just for fun, you can actually try to skip through other parts of the level that you normally wouldn't be able to, like me rocking jumping up here, and so forth. It's just fun. Uh, I love it. I'm gonna just try to rocket jump all the way over here. Nope, that didn't work. But yeah. So that's Quake, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this, uh, this episode. So I basically wanted to show you guys the final level, the final boss, and then spend a little bit of time just kind of like goofing off and showing you some of the things that I used to do back in the day. And uh, likewise, not just myself, but a bunch of other people as well. Um, just kind of goofing around in original Quake. 
So uh, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play series. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do a multi-part series like this for a while. Um, it was uh, a decent time commitment. You know, the total uh, time allotment for all the Let's Plays, I think, was over like five hours for these five parts. Um, and... Um, so that's a lot of exporting time, a lot of time just putting them together um, and uploading them and all that stuff. And I'm sure you guys are probably quaked out by now. Um, so I'll be back with some more Let's Play soon. Uh, most likely some retro stuff, probably Sega Genesis, uh, maybe some more NES. Uh, we'll see. I'm going to have to look at my Let's Play list. And uh, the next week might be a little barren because uh, I'm going to be taking in uh, a certification. Uh, test, exam, whatever, and uh, so I really need to cram for that this uh, this upcoming week. And um, but uh, I'll hopefully be back uh, immediately after taking that. So probably give me a week, and uh, I'll see you guys then. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, take it easy. Have a good day. Have a good night wherever you are, and uh, I'll see you soon.